All right, so this video I'm going to be talking about worship because Calvary Chapel Loretto wants to get a live worship team going. So Pastor Elmer, who you'll see in this video, uh, wants to get an actual band together at Calvary Chapel Loretto. It's going to probably be a while, but they don't have an actual worship team. The way they do worship is through videos that they have uh, either sent down from Calvary Chapel Rosarito or um, there's another way I think they get videos. I'm not sure if it's something they, they download. I'm not sure where they download them from. Right now they only have a guitar and a cajon. With the guitar it's a smaller one. It's more of a kid size one. And the cajon, it's something that, that might be, I'm not sure there's as much of an interest in learning the cajon. But uh, th yesterday, which you'll see uh, in the second half of this video, in the back end of this video, uh, there was a gentleman named Mike, he was in town for I think like a month. And he's going to give us a few lessons. And we had two guitars with us because Pastor Elmer's got one. Um, I can't remember if he borrowed it or from somebody else or if it's his own But we basically had two and then Mike brought his own so I was able to use one It's always been kind of on my bucket list to learn The first time I tried learning I was actually in Iraq and There was an NCO or sergeant who was in the, the One of the army bands in the division band that was out there and she was teaching me I bought one ordered it to Am uh, through Amazon and this was even in 2009 that I couldn't order through Amazon to Iraq. I ended up uh, selling it to somebody else there right before I came back home. The second time I tried uh, learning, I picked up the guitar, was semi-self-teaching. And after, I don't know, maybe two months, I ended up selling it. I wasn't making the best financial decisions. So I ended up selling it because I have money for like insurance or something, like insurance bills or something. But uh, hopefully this time around I can actually get more of a ground for, for learning. And also having one maybe of my own that I have down here. Whether it be just until I leave or I bring it back with me. Uh, so the biggest thing is pray for volunteers pray for people who are willing to be part of a worship band of a live worship band and it looks like the goal right now is to have at least somebody who could play the guitar or a handful of people that could play the guitar so they could take turns and then hopefully somebody that could play the cajon uh, i don't have any video or anything of the cajon so somewhere down the line you may end up seeing it maybe one of, one of my other videos just by chance but if you're not sure what a cajon is, just type in C-A-J-O-N. And then if you have to, just type in like cajon instrument or cajon music. And uh, it's pretty much just a box that you sit on top of and you play with your hands. It's a percussion. And that's a little more, I don't want to say acceptable, but not as noisy as a, as a drum set so you know some of the older older people may be more into that um i just think it's kind of a cool instrument to have i i would have, rather have the cajon than the drums but that's for me it's just per, personal preference not to have anything against the drums after mike leaves we'll probably be doing a a lot more YouTube uh, sessions on learning how to play the guitar. Um, if you know anybody or you are somebody that wants to uh, teach, we could figure something out, whether it be you upload videos and we watch from there, or I don't know how well Zoom's gonna work down here because Wi-Fi could be kind of spotty. Uh, one night it took me the entire night to upload a video. Uh, but then there's, there's other times I've uploaded a video in just a few minutes. So, um, but I'm pretty sure we can figure something out. Uh, it's kind of expensive to send things down. So, I don't know if you guys want to try and send, like, recorded DVDs you guys did or anything. But that could be an option too. Uh, but I think the biggest thing is just pray, pray for volunteers. Pray for servants with a willing heart 
to uh, be a worship band and and just let God guide the whole thing. Uh, we don't need, you know, 10 or 15 people on, on stage with, you know, eight different instruments and, and whatnot. Um, I, I, I think Calvary Loretta would be happy with, you know, a handful of servants, three, four or five servants at the most, uh, just up praising the Lord, uh, leading, leading worship. So I'm going to go ahead and throw up the first, uh, lesson that we got from Mike. So enjoy those and we'll keep you updated on like a worship band. I'm going to play this. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, you ready now? Put your finger across and then go. Why are you putting your finger across? Okay, start right there. Put your, you're on the second. This, these are frets that they call frets. So you're going to be in the second fret. Uh-huh. You stretch your finger across. Yeah. That's not All of them. All of them. Just like that. Just kind of. I that. All of them. Turn it down.